In this video, we're going to look at how to draw an x equals graph. So for instance, x equals 2, x equals 3, x equals minus 1, graphs like that. So, just to remember, a coordinate comes in the format x, y. Remember, along the corridor up the stairs, so you go across the x-axis first of all, and then you go up the y-axis. So, if we were to draw the graph x equals 3, that's like a rule. It's saying that the x-coordinate of the, the x part of the coordinate has to be equal to 3. So, an example could be 3, 1. Another one could be 3, 5. Another one could be 3, minus 2. So they're all coordinates that follow this rule, x equals 3. So let's plot these coordinates. 3, 1. 3 across, 1 up. 3 across, 5 up. 3 across, 2 down. So these three coordinates are all in the same vertical line. And if we were to draw a nice straight line through them, you would get that. Now that goes through the x-axis at 3. And that's the line x equals 3. The reason that they're all in a straight line like that is because they've all got the same horizontal position. They're all 3 across. So you go 3 across and it doesn't matter how many up or down you go. So this is that graph. Now if we were asked to draw the graph x equals 1, they would all be 1 across and so many up or down. So it would be a vertical line going through the x-axis at 1. So it would look like this. And that would be the graph x equals 1. So it goes through the x-axis at 1, like so. If they asked us to draw the graph x equals minus 2, again, it would be a vertical line through minus 2, like so. So that's how you draw an x equals graph. Here we've got three graphs that we need to find the equation for. We've got this line, this line, and this line. Because they're vertical lines, they're going to be x equals graphs. And so here we've got this one. This would be, because it goes through 5, this would be the graph x equals 5. This one is vertical and it goes through minus 1 on the x-axis. So this is one's going to be x equals minus 1. And this one's vertical and goes through minus 3. So this one's x equals minus 3.